Well, I, I, again, I'm, I'm sadly disappointed about the lacking organization of the quote-unquote debate itself because it was supposed to be refereed. It was supposed to be where there's point-counterpoint. And instead of dealing with this, I believe, most important issue, you had about 12 panelists, which were far too many, dealing with a variety of different issues. Ultimately, what the audience said was that they do not want to hear this degraded dialogue that has us engage the stupid concept of sexuality and or demeaning dialogue. All they wanted to do was basically have the facts. Well, again, frankly, folks, I've got to tell you, I am thankful to have had this experience because it tells me I'm going to focus from now on on the great news. We've got so much wonderful news happening in the field of 528. We have the new book of 528. It's called Prosperity Key of Love. The book of 528, Prosperity Key of Love, is online. You can get it at the ebook right now. Uh, it's at the printer right now for the hardcover coming out in about, uh, I think, five weeks. We should have the hardcover available. So if you'd like to pre order that book, you can call toll free 888 508. 4787. That's toll free, 888 And you can go online to get the ebook now for less than $10 at thebookof528.com. And there's so much wonderful understanding that is going to ultimately undermine the entire petrochemical pharmaceutical cartel because when people listen to 528 music, play 528 music, Tune to 528 with their voices and sing it. Ultimately, it is healing, powerfully healing, because it literally resonates you in, in keeping in harmony with a blade of grass. With that greenish yellow chlorophyll molecule, it literally takes in the electron resonance of the sun, which is also broadcasting in 528, according to NASA recordings. And the sound of the sun is 528 at its heart. And then the color of the sun reflected in the botanical world in the molecule of chlorophyll, greenish yellow, is the heart of the rainbow, as above, so below. What's true for the rainbow is true for your heart. The heart of your heart is greenish yellow. That's why the heart chakra is depicted everywhere on the Internet in the chakra drawings as greenish yellow. And then you understand if that's true, you were created in God's image, then God's heart resonates in greenish-yellow. And that frequency of resonance of creation is celebrated throughout the botanical world. And we see it in the molecular structure of the chlorophyll pigment in all of the botanical world that is creating our life because it's creating our oxygen. And the entire ocean is filled with the phytoplankton that breeds oxygen. And all of the trees and the grasses and the bushes that are greenish-yellow are popping out, taking carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide, and they're pumping out pure oxygen, which is what you breathe. In, uh, in Hawaii, we're heading back to Hawaii for the uh, important, uh, this next weekend is going to be an important Kingdom of Hawaii gathering, whereby it's going to be determined the last planning sessions dealing with this coming election in November for the restoration of the kingdom. Again, the sovereignty of the kingdom of Hawaii is evolving now to come to fruition this November with a election that's based on the international rules for democratic nationhood. And so this is now happening. We'll be back there to cover it. We'll be speaking with you next Tuesday night about that, so that's a little preview. I'm sure we'll be very excited about that. But the concept of aloha, aloha, look at that word, the A, L, O, ha. The A is for alpha, the beginning. The L is the heart of the Hebrew alphabet, the Lamed, the 11th out of 22 numbers in the Hebrew alphabet stands for love in the gematria. So you have the beginning, there was love, and the omega, the alo. So between the alpha and the omega, there is love. And then it's carried by the ha, the breath of life. When Hawaiians greet each other, 
the Kanakamoli, the real natives. They greet each other by looking into their windows of each other's souls, their eyes, and they touch their foreheads, and they breathe together, and they call us the Howleys, the white people who are kind of like in this other realm, operating in gross deception thanks to the Gunders. Appreciate that, Seth, and engineering, and, and Don at BBS Radio. We thank you, folks, for staying with us. Sorry for the technical difficulty. The dropout occurred because of Cox. Cox telephone systems here in Southern California seem to be targeting us fair, fair amounts. So uh, you can't blame BBS and can't blame us. Uh, if you want to blame anybody, it's Cox who decided to pull the plug at that very moment. Uh, I want to just continue this concept of the solar radiation bringing the oxygen level up to 528 frequency. The sun is vibrating, as I mentioned, according to NASA recordings, in 528 fundamentally. And so when that green chlorophyll pigment in all the botanical world takes in that sunlight, that photon at 528 nanometers, that's the heart of the rainbow I mentioned, and that 528 hertz frequency, which we believe to be the heart of the complete sound spectrum, even beyond what human ears can hear, that ultimately, and this is why you have 5,280 feet in a measured mile. This you'll learn in the book of 528. But then what happens is that sound and that light goes into the plant, and the greenish color that's reflecting all of that sound and light ultimately transfers and transmutes that oxygen or changes it, it transforms the oxygen by literally creating the resonant energy of the electrons flowing in 528 hertz frequency. So the oxygen, the O2 that gets created, ultimately has the frequency of love. And that's why the aloha, that olive, lamed, omega, the O and then the ha, the breath, carries that energy of love which sustains us. It carries the Holy Spirit. It's healing. And that's why cattle and dogs eat, and even cats. I've seen cats eating grass when they get sick. Wheatgrass, juice fasts, these are healing primarily because it's always the Holy Spirit of love that does the healing all administered by the Creator through the musical mathematical matrix of creation that is playing you into existence every nano instant. You're literally being recreated this way, and especially by the infusion into your Holy Spirit-filled temple of the Ha, of the breath. So, folks, I'm going to start to focus now, because I've uh, literally... Uh, had, a, had enough of dealing with mental midgets, dealing with COINTELPRO operatives that were selected because of their level of stupidity, that were engaged and paid to bring humanity down to a level of ignorance to be able to continue to manipulate us. And you can't reason with these people. I mean, no matter what you say, no matter what proof you bring them, no matter how they accuse you and you bring proof to prove that whatever they're saying is wrong, they will not, they will divert from the issue. The issue is that these people are protecting the people that work, they were actually protecting they're the Bush administration. They're protecting the Bush every, everything the, that's the that is, water that's agenda. Evil. They're protecting child sex trafficking. They're protecting pedophiles. And when you bring that issue to them and say, well, this is what the issue is. It's not whether you believe that Dr. Horowitz is a knight of Malta, which is a bunch of crap. And you can produce the evidence to prove that he's not. They don't want to look at that. They don't even want to address the fact that they're protecting these pedophiles and the child sex, sex trafficking um evildoers, all they want to do is they want to they want to they degrade, want to degrade us. because they they're want paid to, to do that. They, they degrade themselves. Another great example, and uh, we have a court hearing date with, uh, for those of you who are on 
the uh, side of Ted Gunderson and Anthony Hilder and Dr. Truott, uh, let it be known throughout your network that Dr. Truott is expected in court in Southern California on June the 22nd, that we have a hearing date because of the emails that have been sent to us that are so demeaning, so frightening, literally death uh, threats are being administered that have uh, that link Truott literally to the Lautner uh, murders uh, down in Arizona. And you can go online, and if you haven't seen it yet, oh, there's a new website up, by the way, truot.com. If you just go to truot.com, you can read a new website that's up. Uh, and also there is, you can get a program I, I mentioned on George Norrie Coast to Coast the other night. I had a very nice interview with uh, George and just briefly discussed beyond the E. coli uh, outbreak uh, I wouldn't call it an outbreak. I would call it a intentional release and intentional fright. And I would say that uh, there's a, a good program on the truot.com website along with the story of why it is I'm saying, along with the evidence, again, that people don't want to see if they're on uh, the other side, if they're on the dark side, if they're on the side where they're not interested in reason. They just want to uh, wage this stupid war that the people voted the other day at conspiracy con they don't want to have a war of, on words they don't want to be degraded they don't want to be brought down into the, the disgusting sex issues when we've got urgent issues to deal with uh you you look at the letters that Truots alias is sent to sherry kane threatening us and linking to the lautner uh murders and you can begin to see the truth that shall set you free in terms of understanding that we've all been conned and who the con artists are. Uh, one last thing before uh, we leave this subject and move on to, to better, uh, better uh, issues is this concept that Truott had given John Kennedy Jr. the gemstone file number five without having a copy of that now again it's a indication of absolute stupidity or he's just lying because so, he's known to be a big liar i mean it's, 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 known it's, to be it's a huge so liar. outrageous think about this folks you're given allegedly by again an unnamed source of course unknown they always source. unknown source that he claims it was an accountant he was given a file that contained all the nitty-gritty on jfk assassination including checks including payments including the whole nine yards okay and he gave it supposedly to john f kennedy jr from george magazine the editor and he's going to publish it and he's going to put the bush family to bed well that's the allegation by truat think about this folks how absolutely disgustingly stupid it is for us to believe that this man wouldn't have kept a photocopy of that document he gave the whole thing away allegedly to this editor from George and he never saw it again now if you can believe that I've got three or four bridges around the world that I'll sell you for thirty million dollars that you can take home and put over your bathtub it's absolutely ridiculous and that is the level of stupidity of the agents that they have hired to bring us intelligence on the Bush family, on the Illuminati, on the way that the uh, issues uh, such as the plagues are coming and the biological weapons are being administered. The industry is so fully infiltrated by idiots. Frankly, I can't engage it anymore because literally it drags me down into a sewer that my intelligence reputability, honorability, as well as desire to serve in a meaningful way to make the greatest difference in the world, I've got to leave this dialogue. So we're going to end it here on this discussion. I'm not going to be talking. We're not going to bring this up anymore. We've written everything that we're going to write. It's all published right now. Again, the two last two newsletters 
in healthyworldstore.com. And then also we're going to publish the, the Hilder video. The Hilder video will be published. Uh, our presentation at the conspiracy conference will be up on YouTube over the next couple of weeks, as well as um, uh, and then we'll have the court hearing that uh, Truad has been served. He has been served uh, papers uh, by Sherry Kane, and uh, I've even sent him a copy myself this day. And uh, he's expected in court on the 22nd, and he's going to have to explain this bullshit, excuse my French, to the judge. And if he doesn't...